Size of that one. Five pounder. This is the Rapala Shadow Wrap. This is the three hooked version. This is hard to beat. It's a great shad imitation. What a great time to be out here fishing this thing. I want to talk to you a little bit more about how I'm fishing it. But uh, Shadow Wrap Shad in a shad pattern. Five pounders. Come on. Let's go. All right, guys, Rapala Shadow Wrap Shad. Um, show you what I'm fishing it on. I'm using 12 pound Berkeley Trilene, 100% fluorocarbon. This is the Abu Garcia Ike Series Delay Rod. I created this rod especially for jerk baiting and topwater fishing. It's a twitching rod. It's 6 8 medium. Notice how short the butt is, and that's because. We're doing wrist motion and cadence, so shorter butt and a very flexible tip. It's a composite rod, that's, in, that's real important. With the reel, I wanna slow myself down. Uh, that's real important. So we're using an Abu Garcia, this is the Revo MGX in a 6-4 to one. Purposely using a slower gear ratio reel. Um, seems like today it, it won a medium twitch, with about two to three second pauses. So, so far so good. Let's keep going. hooked like four times on the side on the face on the back look how fat them little things are hey
All right, everybody, um, got a situation here. Uh, went into the rod locker, uh, went into the box to get a different bait. And when I reached in there, I hooked myself with a shadow wrap. Uh, Barb is buried. So might as well use this opportunity to show you how to get a treble hook out of your finger. All right, first thing we got to do, we got to get some braided line. I'm going to power pull down. I'm going to get some braided line. I'm going to show you the hook removal trick. All right, everybody. So got a piece of braided line. This is 50 pound Berkeley X5 braid. Just a piece of braid. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double the line on itself. So... I like to do that because it doubles the strength, okay? So I double the line. Next thing I do is I wanna put the line under the bend of the hook that's in your finger, okay? So we're gonna go under the bend. Make sure it's completely under the prong that's in your finger. The other two prongs are gonna be that way. The next thing we want to do is we want to put downward pressure, downward pressure, downward pressure on the shank of that hook. In this case, a treble hook, okay? So downward pressure. The more downward pressure, the better. You've got the line doubled. You're going to grab it with the opposite hand and just give it a little pop. Pop! And there it goes. A little bit of blood, a little bit of pain, treble hook is out of my finger and uh i hope that helped you that's the braided line trick to remove a treble hook uh or a hook when it gets caught in your finger hope that helps bye